Hi, I want to answer a question from Reddit, and I'm going to start doing that more because people put on good questions here, but what I'd really prefer to do is to get questions from viewers. So if you have a question, please put it in the comments and um, I will possibly make a video about it. So here we go. This is from Mr. Ability on uh, Reddit in the Past Lives subreddit. And the title is Past Lives, Future Lives, and Parallel Lives? Question mark. If, you, if you're into outside-of-the-box spirituality, then past lives seem like a common thought. Future lives? Well, if time is only linear here in this third dimension, and spirits have capabilities that exceed this one dimension, then time isn't a huge hurdle, so the idea of future lives makes sense, right? But what about simultaneous lives? Parallel lives that exist within similar time frames where both humans are alive in, yet inhabited by one soul. The soul energy would be split into both bodies, just like our soul energy splits when we dream, and some remain with us while other portions go into the astral. So, do you think these double lives are possible? And it goes on, but I'll start with that. Number one, um, you might want to check out the books by Michael Newton, um, Journey of Souls and Destiny of Souls, because those deal with um, that question <clears throat> extensively. And... Um, but let me, let me make it a little bit bigger of an issue. <clears throat> so, think of it as that everything is one. You could call that God. You could call that the universe. You could call that oneness, Advaita, non-duality, whatever. Um, so, if everything is one in reality then every uh, version of reality where there is more than one is an illusion. It's a, let's not say illusion, let's say it's a creation. So therefore, on the highest level, everybody is everybody else's parallel soul. Um, and so later on, this person goes in to ask about, well, if, if these people were both of the same soul in, incarnated in separate bodies at the same time, could they meet each other? Well, the idea of oneness is that you're always meeting yourself in the eyes of everybody else. So, yeah. You're always meeting your soulmate every time you meet another human on one level. But then there are other levels um, because that's the way creation works. Multiple dimensions, multiple levels of everything. So, yeah, in, in my experience doing past life regression... For, what is it now? It is uh, <laughs> um, 14 years, a little over 14 years that I've been doing past life regression. I have seen many clients talk about, of course, past lives. That's the normal. Um, future lives, absolutely. And par parallel lives, yes, that also. Um, I had one client who, you know, in QHHT, quantum healing hypnosis technique, developed by Dolores Cannon, when we do the session, we, we go through past lives first, and then we speak to the higher self. And when we do that, we ask a lot of questions. So this idea of parallel lifetimes came up, I can't remember whether the, the client had that as a question or whether parallel lives came up 
in a past life. I can't remember how we got there. But basically what came out is that this client had 10 simultaneous lifetimes going on right now. Um, now that's the most I've ever heard of, but it's very common in past life regression if you ask the higher self, do you have any parallel lives going on right now that the answer is yes. Most people don't ask that question. That's not something that always comes up. But yeah. Um, so, yes, it's very possible to have parallel lives. And if you think of it from the standpoint of that everybody you meet, everything you meet, every tree you meet, every animal you meet, the earth itself, the sky, whatever, it's all parallel lives. Um, it's all the oneness that you are. So, um, the question continues, how do you feel about that possibility? Because my question is a follow-up to that possible reality. Do you think the two people would be able to meet? Absolutely. And you may have met other aspects of yourself many times. I ask because a lot of moments in life are foreseen before birth. Lessons in certain moments are intertwined into what you'll be experiencing in your lifetime. So would they consider the other parallel simultaneous life? Um, would they include or forbid a possible meetup? Well, I think that's really dependent on your life purpose and what the purpose of that meetup would be. It's not a general uh, rule from what I've seen. It's as weird as the old movie trope where you travel back in time, you're not supposed to meet your younger self. Do you think the people would have a strange, familiar feeling they couldn't put into words? Yeah, but not necessarily every time. Um, sometimes you could really dislike that person. Um, sometimes you could fall in love with that person. Many times you could just be very indifferent to that person. It really depends on if there's a certain charge, if there's something to be done with that other aspect of you. Um, normally, there isn't that much to be done with that other aspect of you, despite all of the romanticizing that goes on. Um, that's not really what it's um, always about, but it can be. Do you think people would have, uh, okay, strange from your feeling, do you think it would be received as romantic love? Yeah, it could be. Is all of this too far-fetched to even think about? No, nothing's too far-fetched to think about. Stretch your brain. It's a beautiful thing. Has anyone had any experience like this or maybe read in something somewhere about this subject? I'm very curious. Thank you. Yeah, so like I said, I had one client who um, was going through, according to her higher self, going through 10 simultaneous past lives. One of them was the client I was talking to. Um, and the client detailed each past life that she was going through, uh, where it was happening, what the situation was. And you could see certain similar themes with her life to those other lives. Um, other clients, usually people will ask something like, do I know that person from a past life? Um, now, this is different than it being the same soul or something. Like, for example, I had one person that kept marrying the same person in every past life, and it was her current husband, and... It went wrong, and the lesson was basically like, don't marry this person. 
And so my client kind of realized, oh, I did it again and it's not working, but you know, there's some obsessive emotional pull towards that person. And it wasn't because they were soulmates or something on that level that they were the same soul, but they were in the same, they were basically caught up in the same dramatic loop, karmic loop, where they had to come back and basically not get together for once. And that would break the cycle. So yeah, they're from what I've seen. And you know, when I talk about these things, I talk about it based on the fact that I've done around 2000 past life regressions in my career as a past life regression hypnotherapist. And, um, you know, after 2000 sessions, you then way before 2000 sessions, actually, you start to see a lot of similarities. And eventually you kind of get the feeling that I think I kind of know how some of this stuff works. Although I'm very open um, to it being very different. And when you do past life regression a lot, you might feel like, I know exactly what's going to happen when I leave this body. But I think you need to be a little bit humble and say, I probably don't. And I'm probably going to have a lot of surprises when it happens. So anyway, that's my answer to that question. Um, I will post it on to Reddit, to uh, this video on there, to answer the person directly. And if you have, uh, what is it, Mr. Ab Mr. Ability, with some underscores and whatever. Um, if you have follow-up questions, please ask me. And um, you can email me at andysway at yahoo.com. But better yet, just put your comment under this video so, that, so then... I will already have the questions in the right file of what video we're talking about. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I'll be back with another Reddit question. Thanks. Bye.